Thank you for inviting me to speak to you today. I so wish I could join you in person with the good Dutch name I have. I can't come to the Netherlands enough. But I would like to thank the Netherlands Council of Women for organizing this symposium and the Ministry of Education, Culture and Science for hosting and making this important event possible. I would also like to welcome all the distinguished guests that are gathered with you today, including Kenza Robinson, the Secretary of the UN Water uh, and former Chair of the UN Interagency Task Force on Water and Gender. Maya Van Beestervelt, the Minister for Education, Culture and Science and responsible Minister for Emancipation and Gender Equality and Anka Vervoud, the Executive Director of the Federation of Rural Women of the Netherlands. I would also like to recognize the Board of the Netherlands Council of Women, including Board Chair Dini Scheffer and each of the 48 Council Chairpersons, as well as each and every one of you for your hard work and tireless dedication over so many years in advancing women's leadership in your country and around the world. And of course, I'd like to recognize the Secretary General of the Netherlands Council of Women, Dr. Alice Bowman, for her leadership over so many years in advancing women in sustainable development. As all of you know, Alice has been a longtime advocate for women's empowerment and particularly for the integration of gender and water issues. I have had the pleasure of working with her on several occasions and have always so appreciated the passion and insight and vision that she brings to the table. She has helped catalyze important changes and I know that she will be missed. Women have a critical leadership role to play in sustainable development, particularly in regards to access to clean water and sanitation. As you know so well, in much of the developing world, women spend several hours a day collecting, transporting, and managing water for domestic use, as well as promoting sanitation in their families and communities. As the primary agricultural producers in much of the developing world, women also use water resources to provide food for their families and communities and to grow incomes. Factors such as climate change and a rapidly growing global population pose a challenge to ensuring access to clean and reliable sources of water now and in the years to come. The decisions that are made today on water will continue to impact global food security, community health, and economic well-being. Women as half the world's population and agents of change, leaders in water resource management must be engaged in developing local and global solutions to ensuring clean water access for everyone. Unlocking the potential of women now will ensure that water resources are managed effectively into the future. Of course, the critical leadership role of women in sustainable development is not limited to water resource management, as critically important as that is. In the development of stronger, greener economies, it will be critical also to bring women to the table on issues related to climate change, agriculture, clean energy, forests, and so many other areas. I would like to note that it is particularly important that we reach out to engage rural women in these important conversations and implementing solutions with them Rural women, many of whom are local environmental stewards across the world, bring significant local knowledge and innovative solutions to the table. 
In the coming months, we will have several opportunities to advance this agenda, from the annual meeting of the UN Commission on the Status of Women in New York, which will take place starting in late February, and this year will focus on rural women, to the Rio Plus 20 conference in Brazil next June. The work that you are doing is so important to informing and shaping the global agenda at these meetings and other convenings and for ensuring that women's role in protecting the environment is given the attention that it deserves. I wish you all a very productive discussion today and I look forward to learning the outcome of your deliberations, to working with you and your government over the coming months to ensure that women's issues are placed front and center where they belong at CSW, at Rio Plus 20, and every place else where important decisions are being made. Thank you so much for what you are doing, for what you will do in the months to come, and the best of luck.